We're going to cover a lot of very important topics tonight. Hold on just one second. Let's see if this call is. Hello, Brandon House. Thank you, General, for joining us. We've just gotten on the air. Let me announce. Uh, in fact, let me have General McInerney. General McInerney, uh, we have just been joined by a friend of yours. Would you like to uh, introduce our friend to the broadcast audience tonight? Yes, I would like to, Brandon, to let everybody know that General Mike Flynn is going to join us tonight in the few days that he has been pardoned by the United States, by the President of the United States. It is a great honor for us to have him and for he and I to speak along with Mary and Alan about the treason that has been committed against this administration, this country, and this president. And General Flynn was a key part of that, that this threat that we are facing today did. So it's an absolute great honor to have you with us, Mike. Absolutely. And we must let America know what's happening. Absolutely. With that, General, I am just going to give you the floor. I know you're on a cell phone, but I'm just going to give you the floor and let you speak to the American people. Thank you for joining us tonight. So first of all, I want to just say thanks, uh, Tom, for, uh, for getting a hold of me and asking me to come on tonight. And Brandon, appreciate you connecting me in. I, here's, I, I, don't know, I don't know what your audience is or who, who, you know, the, or who we're speaking to tonight, but I would tell you what's happening in this country should should never happen and we are going through there's no doubt in my mind we're going through a a uh a, a crucible of history and if we don't if we don't correct what it is that's happening right now over the next couple of weeks then then i i i really hate to even think about what will happen in our country going forward into the latter part of december and certainly into the into the next month i do not believe i do not believe for a second that the country will accept vice president biden as the next president based on what we know to be probably the greatest fraud that our country has ever experienced in our history i mean what we're seeing what i what i'm in right in the middle of it right now and i will tell you that first of all the president has clear paths to victory they have clear paths to victory, and they actually don't require a lot of a lot of courtroom action. What they require is they they require a lot of honesty out of uh, elected officials, and frankly, a lot of Americans who who are coming forward and telling us their story 